hanging out with Tim Laffler. He brought out his number 51 for the first time this year. He drove a car for Lauren Lincoln a few times in the sportsman division back in 2020. Three times, he has three starts here in 2021. Tim Laffler's number 51 here with us in the pit area. How you been, man? Oh, great, yeah, thanks. Yeah. How we doing? Fantastic, you know, uh, loving this racing thing. Just uh, getting our feet wet in this whole thing and trying to uh, figure the whole thing out. Are we figuring it out? We're starting to figure some things out. You know, uh, we need a little more lap time to get get uh, to get to that point. But you know, we're uh, I'm a green driver. Our crew crew's green, so we're all together learning uh, learning this whole thing. Yep. So what makes a guy your age? I'm not going to tell you the age because he asked me not to, but he's he's same age as me, so he's a young guy. He's, That's all right. You can reveal that age. That's all right. All right. Uh, what makes a guy at your age decide to be a rookie in sportsman? Well, I've done a lot of adventurous things in my life, and this is just one more thing that we can check off the bucket list. Uh, so. That's probably the shortest answer. Okay. Um, so you were a lifelong race fan coming to the track or no? I have been a race fan for a number of years. Uh, I'm into aviation. I'm into a lot of different things. Oh, but you float right planes? Yes, yeah, so and right now we're into racing. That's uh, the, our biggest interest. So I know things are different because I know people who fly planes. And they say the last thing you want to do in a plane is fool around and get wild and crazy. But they say the one thing that, that – Flying a plane teaches you that applies to racing is discipline and attention to detail. Are they right? That's exactly the word I was going to use to describe it, but you're right. Discipline is it. What is it about it? That, that What is the discipline part of flying then? Well, it's, uh, it's about routine. And uh, if there's a routine in flying, then uh, your mistakes are lessened and your, uh, your expectations are known to some degree. Uh, but, uh, yeah, discipline is it. Of course taking off with nobody trying to bang into you and things like that is a little different. So this is only so routine, right? Good point. Good point. This is forever different every time you go out on the track. So uh, you have to adjust to each circumstance and uh, do the best you can. Yeah. How have you improved since the very first time you sat in one of Lauren Lincoln's cars last year to today? Oh, by leaps and bounds, you know. How, how so? Give me an example. Well, just the, the wealth of knowledge we, we have now as compared to last fall with Lauren. Um, it's just incredibly uh, um, massive amount of things that you need to know to do this racing thing. And it's, uh, we've come a long way so far, and we've got a long way to go. So we look forward to learning more um, in that respect. I've talked to enough guys who are in your position. Remember, I was a 50-year-old rookie myself at one time, guys. What's the, what's the toughest thing? Is it learning how to drive or learning how to do what you need to do to the race car? Or are they about the same? Uh, yeah, they have equally uh, their challenges, but uh, I think the setup on these cars is, is real tricky. It's very intricate. It's, uh, it's wide range as far as how to approach it, but uh, uh, we're getting there for sure. We are getting there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what's a, are we a goal-oriented guy? Do we come in each night with a goal? I think what this year, I think top 10 is what we're looking for. Uh, if we can get a top 10, I think we'll be happy. But, you know, as, uh, as well as I do, once that top 10 comes, we're going to be uh, looking for something else. Car's been fine. We haven't had any bugs or anything. We well, we had fixed. two weeks of mishaps there. I don't know if you're aware, but uh, we had a had some chaos last week. Uh, week before, last week was a uh, broken uh, slip yoke, um, so that shot our axle and took out our shift and uh, uh, line and our uh, clutch uh, clutch line shift and lever. But uh, but yeah, so if we can get by those things, we'll uh, maybe get to finish a feature here soon. And let's be honest, are you having a time of your life or what? Oh, it's a riot. A lot more fun than flying? Uh, yeah, right now because that's what I'm doing more of. <laughs> well, it's probably still new. I mean, it's new to you, so it is. you still have those butterflies every time you're sitting in a staging area, don't you? Remarkably, I don't have many Maybe butterflies. that's what flying no, no, you get um, rid of, right? I don't know. I guess, I guess I got a knack to stay in calm. I don't know for sure. But, but uh, no, I don't get really too nervous on it. All right, well, Tim Laffler, new guy. If you're wondering who the 51 Sportsman is here at Atlanta Legends Raceway and what his story is, now you know, and it's actually a pretty good story, too. Hit the blue E down there, and that will subscribe you and let you know every time we're talking to somebody cool like uh, Tim or anybody else here. Thank you. Man, I hope you have fun, man, seriously. And, really uh, appreciate I, I, it. I love telling these stories, man, because yeah. it's, it's never too late. I mean, if you're 40, 50, 60 years old, you got to get a race car and have some fun, right? Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Yep. Have a nice sure. night. Okay, you too.